And we are back. Just need to dream nail this creature. and here comes the grim troop apparently and we gotta go back to dirt mount to actually meet the troop hm. yep here they are with these two weird creatures. Isn't it insane? Hmm. We can enter here or here. Let's enter here. It's the smaller house, therefore it's less important. Ah! Did you call us? You called us and we came. We came. You don't look scared. Why did you call us? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Don't tell me. We came and I can smell something. Something deep below us. I want it. I want it! <laughs> Smell! Ugh! You're hiding something very nice from me, aren't you? Shouldn't hide something so nice. Show me. Show me. Put it on, quickly. Uh, yeah. The fragile, uh... Charms. She can upgrade them. Uh, it's really, really expensive, though. Let's see what happens if I equip uh, strength and I have to do it while over charmed. Hmm, whatever. That's new. It's this sign right there, I think. Hell, hell, there's a couple of signs actually. Anyway. Yes, that charm. Beautiful, most precious thing. Little lovely. Will you let me see it? I have to show it to me. Okay, fragile strength charm. Yes. Ah, ah, such a little beauty, such a smell, such a smell, ah! She ate it. Ah, so good, so tasty, a perfect, perfect thing, just for me, ah! And that's it. <laughs> Can she not give it back to me? Okay, so you have to talk to her a lot. And yeah, it's 15,000. <sighs> Unbreakable strength. Yep. Now you have to show her the other charms if you want to upgrade those too, but I don't have the money for that. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> but yeah, no. Instead of fragile, fragile strength, I have unbreakable strength. So that means I don't. There's no risk to using this now. And you can do the same for these two. Um, once you upgrade all three of them, the one who gave you these charms in the first place, uh, if you talk to him, let's just say something disgusting will happen to him. <laughs> anyway. Talk to the main guy himself. Babala, mm, you call us? Speak to Master. Master is right over here. Hi, Dracula. <laughs> so, it was you who called us. Well met, my friend. Well met, I am Grim, master of this troop. Lantern has been lit and your summons heeded. A fine stage you choose, this kingdom fo followed by warm and root, perfect earth upon which our ritual shall take place. And you, my friend, your own part is far from over. 
As the lantern flared, your roll was cast, a compact written in scarlet fire. Don't you mean contact? <laughs> uh, maybe not, uh, whatever. Eager we are to see you commence. But first, some illumination is required. Yeah, Grim Child, the final charm. It can be upgraded, though. Across these lands, my kin have spread, harvesting that essence peculiar to my breed, the flame in my dream. <laughs> Seek my kin, claim their flame and return it to me. Together, marvels shall be achieved. But don't fret, small one, for this task you won't travel alone. My child shall guide you to the flame and gather within itself that burning essence. Like you, the child plays a key role in this task. Only with it by your side will the flame, and my kin, reveal themselves to you. Yeah, you can go over there later. So basically, final charm right here. Grim child. I'm gonna equip it instead of Fury of the Fallen, and once you've collected enough uh, flames, basically um, you go back to Grim and you'll fight him. And I think you can collect more flames after that. Or no, you, you you collect enough flames once, then you have to do it twice, and then you fight him, I think. Oh, whatever, we'll see. There we go. Yeah, now I got a <laughs> little... Grim Lane following me, and you can see where the flames are. Well, I guess I'm going east first. There aren't that many. Actually, these literally are only only three I can find. Huh. Kind of surprised. No, what actually? Let's start with the one in the city of tears. Oh, hello. Here's our first fight. Ow! Okay. New strat. I think spells would be more effective against this one because it keeps its distance. Well, I could just also wait to for it to attack and then counter. Stop laughing, gosh! He also has a lot of health. Not done yet. Uh, even even with uh, the spell charms, he actually keeps his distance. So yeah, wait for it to attack, then counter. Now the reason why I wanted to start here is because uh, I'll be able to go up to the crossroads, and we'll be able to show to uh, what's her name that we have all charms now. So get that over with. Assuming the current uh, charm I have right now is good enough. Because it's not evolved yet. I have everything. Yep. My dear, a blessing for you. With your excessive patronage and those startling good looks, you've more than earned it. Oh, duh. what? That's the reward? Well, I am blessed by beauty, but does it actually do anything? Okay, I assume you may have noticed the encountered rate has actually risen but mostly because it's the deal it's DLC enemies so they don't actually count every time I meet a new DLC enemy it just like it raises the encountered maximum rate by one so I am actually missing three vanilla enemies hmm interesting but yeah the um blessing it's just an achievement 
Doesn't seem like there's any items or upgrade that it actually does to your character. Oh, weak. Hmm. So flame number two should be fired right over here. Yep. Hi. Huh, take us long. Good. One flame left and it's in green fat, I believe. Hmm. So there's something that you haven't shown that I could have shown uh, before starting this DLC content. As it turns out, once you've found all the grubs, if you go back afterwards to see this guy, this is what's going on. It's creepy, disgusting, and it kind of leaves you with a bad taste in your mouth for the fact that you found all the grubs and he ate all of them. But apparently that's actually what they're supposed to do to, to go move on to the next stage of their life. But th that's just probably reaching. It's just creepy and it had a bad ending to a side quest. Makes me wish you could kill him. Yeah, maybe we will be able to do that in the DLC. Gods and Glory is the next one, I believe. One more hit, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And there we go. All flames consumed. Yeah, yeah, hello. You haven't done anything to say? Very good, the child burns with flame. Master is waiting for you. Mm hmm. Actually, let's check his uh, thoughts. Mm-hmm. Hi, Grim. I can feel it. The warmth of the flame you've gathered together. A masterful opening act. The air hums with excitement. Dear child, you've done so well. Let your fire burn even brighter. Yeah, he was talking about the child behind me. Beautiful, yes, the child has grown from idle youth to deadly companion. About these dangerous lands, its aid will no doubt be welcome. Just don't neglect our dance, for it, con for it too continues. Keep hunting that scattered scarlet essence. When the child is filled with flame once more, return to the stage and the performance, quote-unquote, will begin. The boss battle, that is. So, yeah. There's one flame in right over in King's Pass. Um... The other one is Resting Grounds, that's not going to be easy to get to. And another one in Kingdom's Edge. Uh, that one is actually... Well, actually, yeah. In uh, King's Station, it's going to be easy. And that's pretty much it. I I'm surprised there's no choices. I thought there would be choices involved in surging out for flames in various locations, but nope. Right over here. But this time, it's different. A little larger. Hmm. Strategies are a bit different too. Damn it! Still only one damage. Oh, my ally is actually helping me right now. Very uh, slow attack pattern, but you know. Damn it! There we go. A two death. Just gotta find the other two now. Gotta go to resting grounds. There we go. A little better with the strategy. There we go. 
Yeah, spells would be really, really effective against these enemies. But whatever, we got all three. Now we gotta go all the way back to Dirt Mount. That long climb up. Well, actually, no, King Station is right over here. Make sure to save. Because the performance will begin now. Finally. Not the real performance, though. Mm hmm, same thing as before. Awesome. Wonderful, wonderful! My kin arrive and the time has come. This searing fire, it carries well the ritual's promise. That's weird. For some reason, Siri on my phone opened up or something? I have no idea. Weird. Didn't mean to get distracted. Anyway, dance with me, my friend. The crowd awaits. Show them you are worthy of a star and roll. Oh, whoops. I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> Actually, he, he, he's supposed to, like, present himself uh, initially to you. You're supposed to leave him be. But, uh, he said start. Yeah, I don't take all much time to... Heal. It's important that I don't cheese this fight too much because uh, learning a strat is going to be important for the real performance. Ah! And yeah, that's definitely Dracula. Oh, well, I landed on that. Yeah, I'm back here. It's, impo it's really important that I learn a strategy. Really important. Yeah, it just skips all the the dialogue. And see, this, this is uh, the difference between uh, me not attacking him. He just presents himself and doesn't scream at you. I really need to learn this strat. Do that, huh? Okay, I'm gonna have to learn to jump and dash away with a really good rhythm because this is the easy part. Gosh. Yeah, dodge like that. Here I was supposed to hit him uh, when he was down. Fucking hop off of him. Damn it! Yeah, like that. Phase two. Yeah, that attack is not hard to deal with. Okay, this one. This is supposed to be one of his uh, late uh, attacks, but it's actually not that hard if you ask me. 
Even though I got hit. Damn it! Not done yet. Put a heal right there. This again. I don't know if he's actually invincible up there, but uh that Yeah, when he does that slash, there's pretty much no real chance to stop him. Is that it? Nope, not yet. It's just an opportunity to heal when he does that. When he uh, turns into a bat, sort of, kind of. There we go. See, I have to learn his strategy. Unfortunately, I, I don't actually think I learned enough of this strategy. Well, bravo, my friend. Hear how the crowd adores you. They've not seen such a show in a long time. Look here how our child has grown. Nourished and strengthened by the heat of our passenger in the dance. The two of you will feature in many tragedies and triumphs together, I'm sure. And so our great ritual nears its end. Will you continue to harvest the flame, even though now you surely see the path it illuminates for us? Our scarlet eyes will watch you keenly, my friend. Go out into the darkness, harvest the last lingering embers of this kingdom. Then return to me and we will complete our dance. And our reward for this is a char- Ooh! <gasps> That's actually really good. Anyway, now I believe we have to find uh, three more embers, and then we do the ultimate fight with him in a uh, dream. However, as some of you may have noticed, uh, one of the crownies is gone. The Grum, whatever, Brum? No idea what his name is. If you go out to meet him, you can skip the super hard boss fight uh, after this. But you'll, you won't get the, the reward for completing the ritual, of course. Mm -hmm. I could go farm money out of um, the bank teller, the, the, the scammer. <laughs> so I can upgrade all my notches and show what happens when you do so. Uh... Okay, so that's what the blessing does. <laughs> if you stay on the bench, she appears and restores your soul. That's, that's kind of neat. Makes hot springs completely worthless, though. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So after. In the secret passage beyond Mantis Village, Ancient Basin, and the Hive. Hmm. Fair enough. It's gonna, it'd be easier to do these two together. So I'm gonna go to the hidden station. Hi. Yeah, this one is level 3. I'm using weak attacks too. Seriously, they're not even upgraded from before.
Uh, but he does have new attacks, okay. And deals two hearts of damage each hit. Yeah, I sort of figured though. Because, you know, guess what the extra super final boss of this DLC does in terms of damage? That's right, two masks each hit. Oh! There we go. We have to be careful around these uh, enemies because uh, two, ca two masks of damage is always a serious threat. There we go. Is that two? Now I gotta go all the way where again? Alright, uh, secret passage but, uh, uh, beyond Mantis Village. Hmm. Oh, what I go there though? I guess from Queen Station. For, uh, for reference, once again, if you want to skip the extra boss fight that's super hard, you go to Deep Nest uh, through the the, the 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 stag, and the one of the crownies will be just waiting for you uh, in that next room where you uh, where the hidden village is, you know. Basically, you talk to him, and I think he says that you should extinguish the light uh, that started the whole thing, the DLC light. But of course, you get a supposedly weaker reward for doing this, so... Think about your actions. <laughs> there. He almost got me. But it's all over now. Yeah, let's ditch this place and do the super hard final wow. boss. Wow. Final boss of this DLC. Although, technically speaking, this boss that I'm about to face is considered harder than the Radiance wow. in some respect. Gotta make sure I know what to equip here. Hmm. I don't think I'll need range that much. I might as well equip Unbreakable Strength because the extra damage will help a lot. Um, uh, it's even faster to fight this one compared to previous fight and there is barely any time to heal Dan so I doubt I'll use Quick Focus. Honestly, I kind of want to equip Hive Blood. Yeah, I think I'll go with this. Free of the Fallen will be hard to use with, <coughs> excuse me, Hive Blood, but uh, Free of the Fallen is something I kind of want to see in action, is a thing. Whatever. Practice makes perfect. You okay there? Anyway. Yep, enter his dream. It's the same place as before, somehow. But the area looks a bit different. Nightmare King Grim. That was uh, abrupt. Uh huh. Damn it! This is gonna be hard. Oh, so we can use that attack too, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm already dead. It's just a dream sequence. Practice makes perfect, as I said. I'm really... 
miss it. Like I'm really, uh, really wish I had the range that I had before. Still, kind of want to re-equip the mark of pride. Whatever. Man, those flame pillars, I never see them coming. It was the same with the generic enemies that used it. I do like that he uses moves that uh, you were practicing for while fighting the flames. That's good design. Not to, not to say that this game hasn't had good design all around the entire time. Just, it, it really helps me, you know? Slash I will never get used to, I think. Fires he leaves behind. Uh, it's, it's hard to really uh, capture their presence, if you know what I mean. Understanding your presence, uh, what I'm trying to say. They don't feel like they're really there and that they will hurt you, but they do. And that slash will always get to me. Ah. For what it's worth about the flaming pillars, it's one of the times where it's easiest to hit him. Damn it. The fire still gets to me. Yeah, high blood isn't working out for me. I thought it would help uh, me survive, but uh, I get hit too often. I think the long nail would, uh, or rather the mark of pride, would help me a lot more.
Here we go. Sorry for no commentary during the victory fight, but uh, there was something else. It took me half an hour, I want to say. Ten tries? Something like that. It wasn't that tough, though. <laughs> it's easy to say after you won, but uh, it wasn't that difficult. Please don't crash on me, game. <laughs> Please don't crash. Well, looks like Grim is gone. But... She's still here. She's gonna stick around. Because if you want to upgrade the rest of your things. Um... Mm-hmm. Grim child. Completed ritual. Let's see what it looks like. For some reason he's staying over there. <laughs> That's what the Grim Child looks like. Just attacks as usual, really. Eh, hits pretty hard for what it's worth. Uh, well, gotta say, that's pretty much it for Hollow Knight. There's a couple of things I could still do, like the best cherry and stuff, showing some other endings, but. Honestly, I think the only other thing I'm gonna show about this game is me doing the Soul Stealer run whenever it happens. Whenever I feel like it. Honestly, I think I'm gonna get on Nintendo Switch. Redo the whole game. Assuming it's not like a disaster port, but uh, I don't think it'll be. I really like this game though. Definitely recommend it. It's, it's, it's apparently only $15. American. <laughs> on the whatever service you can get it from. I strongly recommend playing this game. It is something else. V very much a labor of love, and you don't see games like this very often. Hand drawn Metroidvanias that are actually fun to play and even have some story to them. But I guess if you don't like bugs, you won't like this game. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed this long video for me, and I'll have a very nice day. Yeah, next time. Bye-bye.